Okay, this is Eric Windheim, building biologist. We're at a solar home in a solar community in El Dorado Hills, and there's a large solar farm with several acres of solar panels about a mile up the street. So over here on the Stetzer meter, we have 2,300 on the X10 Stetzer meter. 25 or less is safe, and you have to take this and multiply it by 10. So 25 or less is safe, 50 and above is a risk, we're at 2,200. These are the high frequency voltage transients, this is 16,000 cycles per second, 20,000 cycles per second, 40,000 cycles per second, and 60. This is the amplitude of the waveform, and it looks like we're at about 1.6 um, volts, peak to peak. Now we're going to turn the inverter off. Off! We do see a reduction. This was at uh, 2200. Right. Okay, we're back. We turned off the solar out at the main panel. The Stetzer meter was reading 2200 and now it's 1300. Okay, so the frequency spikes are at the same locations. And that's 16 kilohertz, 20 kilohertz, 40, and a little bit still at 60. In fact, now we're down to 80. No, 870. Okay, so turning off the solar on this particular house reduced the dirty electricity at the kitchen counter by over half. But it's very fair to say that this electrical sewage is coming in from all of the very green and energy-wise solar systems up and down the street. And we can say that because this is this, the frequency that solar inverters put out. 16, 20, 40. Thank you very much. Okay, it's a four minute.